How can you drink that stuff? Lemonade is for kids at circuses. Gee, you sure are touchy about something. Oh, I ought to have my head examined. Why? I don't know. I never ran after a girl like this in my life. Mm-hmm. I mean it. Take it easy, take it easy. What for? Do I have to bring you flowers and take you to the movies a whole year before I can convince you? Well, a girl does like to have flowers and a little romance before she's married. Heaven knows few of them get it after. I don't know why I'm sitting here. There are plenty of other women in the world. Plenty. Good sports, good pals. No questions asked. Mm. As for instance. Huh? Her. Who? The girl with the uh, endowments that just passed. When? You didn't see her? No. Well, I guess I'm doing all right. Oh, there's Mrs. Fullerton. What now? I'm merely going to return her matchbox. Be right back. Oh, uh, Mrs. Fullerton. Yes? Well, I just wanted to give Mrs. Fullerton back a match, Bob. I'm Mrs. Fullerton. No, she's Mrs. Huh? I'm Mrs. Fullerton. I think that is a matchbox from the ranch. You're Mrs. Fullerton. Well, then may I ask just whom that was that left? Oh, that's my secretary, Miss Winifred Ashburn. Mrs. Fullerton, there's something you ought to know. You just stay where you are. I was out to your house last night. I had a letter to give you from your husband. Yes. This character, whoever he thinks he is, met me at the door. Yes, but... Just go ahead and deny it. He passed that woman off as you. Well, and how is the pasudo, Mrs. Fullerton, today? Ask him what they did to that letter. Just ask him. Oh, yes, the letter that my husband gave you. I think I have it with me now. Yes, here it is. Mr. Pelham and Miss Ashburn told me all about your bringing it. Up to and including her passing herself off as you? Oh, I'm sorry, but you see, there have been some people from the newspapers, and I don't like to see anybody I don't know, and they didn't know anything about you, you see. But it was very kind of you to bring the letter. Thank you. Well, now, just a minute. I'm by no means satisfied. Call from Mrs. Fullerton? No, from Mr. Powell. Give me the phone. Well, plug it in. Oh, plug it in. Yes, they have no right to read that letter. I really think that's a matter that concerns me, Mr. Pelham and Miss Ashbrook. Mr. Parsons, I'm going to ask you to see to it that Miss Revere doesn't annoy Mrs. Fullerton. If Mrs. Fullerton has to contend with... Contend? Who's contending? I'm trying to wise her up is all. Mrs. Fullerton simply won't come to the hotel anymore. You are an employee of this hotel. I'll see you in my office. Yes, sir. Shall I bring the whip along or do you keep one handy? Oh, go away! I wish you'd call up your husband. Go on. Go to my office at once. Yes, sir. 